Wake up. Wake up, please. Greetings. My name is Darkwood, though you're probably already familiar with that. We've met before. You, if you recall, I referred to as a Tristode, which was a being that existed solely for the purpose of trying to extract my experiences by interacting with me. While the exchange last time was relatively pleasant, I've taken the precautions to make sure that if we're going to be doing this, it'll be on my terms. You might notice that you are currently bound on a stretcher of sorts. Because of this, I've actually bonded your identity to one of my drones that's undergoing calibration. What do I mean by calibration? Well, each of my Orca drones goes about their existence connected to a unified collective of sorts. It helps keep their minds clear, it helps keep them focused, and of course, it keeps them well behaved. So, I have with me a couple of tools that I'm going to use to make sure the drone is properly calibrated. You get to enjoy some personal attention. I get to take notes about how Tristodes manage to extract sustenance from these experiences, and everyone wins. Even the drone here. Now, to begin, I'm going to need to grab some tools to try and adjust the digital output of the implants this guy's had. Someone once asked me why I choose orcas as my main labor force. Well, the reason for that is they are so delightfully compatible with drone you see, if you chose other species, uh, various types of humans, various canines, lions, and so on and so forth, generally their fur patterns, their facial makeup, and so on and so forth, they're very easily discernible. You can tell them apart at a distance pretty well. I mean, having suits certainly helps, but there is a price tag attached to that uh, height and build and musculature and so on and so forth can be a little less interchangeable. But with Orca drones, they look the same, they generally have a similar body type, they have their own language that is difficult to understand unless you actually speak Orca of sorts, clicks, purrs, chirps, etc. If I recall, one orca that I met at some point or another had a tendency to make this high-pitched buoy sound, but I usually don't have my drones do that. Now, hold still. This device here is a implant interface. Don't worry, it's wireless. It's not going to plug anything into your head. Instead, what it's going to do is it's going to connect to your ear and start to vibrate. The vibration will connect with the tiny bones in your ear into the implants in the orca's brain and will begin interfacing with it. I'm told it's quite a comfortable experience. Remain still. Let's start on this side. I know it's probably kind of muffled. Don't worry. It's perfectly fine. It's just doing its job. I know the stillness of your body might feel a bit alien, but it's perfectly natural. I made sure that the drone didn't have its motor functions connected to whatever energy that you were projecting. I don't need you getting up and running around and getting into visual novel shenanigans in my presence. Okay, 
Let's do the other one. You know, the story of the drones is actually quite interesting. When I first started out, I had run into a gang of sorts, a gang of workers that were running a warehouse district. I had worked with one of the members of their crew to try and entice them into joining my cause. And as time went on, we started gradually introducing hypnotic reinforcement and incentivizers, and eventually the Orca drone program came into fruition. Not that many of them are complaining. In fact, quite a few of them enjoy it. That should be enough. How did that feel? <laughs> no, don't answer. I'm piecing together the assumption of your answer in my head. Even though you're connected to a drone, I make a lot of these connections anyway. Peculiar things, Tristans. Okay. I think now this drone still has yet to have a thermium application, so let's go ahead and do that next. Let me just get around here. You're probably wondering what it... Oops. Pardon me, the tools around this facility can be a little bit uh, densely clustered. I'll have to talk with one of the engineers about organizing this a little bit better, but there is order in just a little bit of chaos. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. The Orca service thing, the drone connection, might feel a trifle unethical, but I can assure you that the drones that go about their days are mostly consenting. And as time goes on, they eventually learn humility, uh, unity, and a sense of community among the others. Eventually, as time goes on, when their service period is concluded, we offer them the opportunity to take on a new form, whether it be the form that they had once been, or they could be some variant of Orca, or they work with me to build a new identity. Now then. <sighs> This thermium is designed to incentivize obedience. Now, I understand that the gel is intense in some ways when applied to certain areas. So I would encourage you to take slow, controlled breaths as I apply it. It's supposed to physically numb the area around where it's applied, but certain thought processes incentivize stimulation. Essentially, when you think about the triggered response, it reacts. So it's not the actual physical interaction that you are reacting to, but the thought process. So, let's start over here. I am now going to apply. I apologize, I understand it's a little cold. Remember, slow, deep breaths. Okay? Okay. Very good. All right. And... All right. I'm going to speak to the drone for a moment, so please just enjoy the ride. <sighs> drone 621, you are now in calibration mode. I want you to focus on the sensation below your neck. The application of thermium is now calibrating. I want you to fantasize the feeling of falling to your knees. Taciturn, 
as you rest shoulder to shoulder against others of your kind, simply awaiting order. You can feel the deep rumble working from your chest up to your head and down to the tip of your fluke. You are together. You are unified. You are awaiting orders. And pleasing your master is the only thing that truly matters in this moment. Focus on that feeling. You can feel the warmth work up your body. And as you do, remember the sound of this voice encouraging you. Very good. Good job. Doing as you're told. Strength through obedience. Obedience through strength. Very good. Excellent work, Drum 623. I believe your calibration is complete. Now, I trust Odin, you still does not have control over your motor functions, but you still do. Let me release you from your bonds. I can see you are at attention awaiting orders. Keep your head pointed to the ceiling. The Tristo doesn't need to actually see me. They're just experiencing it. Let me get a good look at you. Okay. Excellent. Good job. Now, there is a pod outside of the calibration room awaiting for your orders. I'm sure the Tristo will disconnect from you eventually, but let's give them a little bit of fun walking amongst her kind. Hmm? 623, you are now assigned to Pod K. You remember your calibration fondly, and you are eager to continue your service. Initiate. See you later.